Hey guys, and welcome to episode 1 of the Carpy FC Career Mode series. In this episode, we're going to be going through the transfer window and also playing two games. I'm really looking forward to uh, this career mode, because I mean, I've already used Carpy before and that was in FIFA 15. I'm really looking forward to see what I can do in this FIFA, since I can actually complete this career mode, because I'm not doing it maybe two months before FIFA 16's coming out, or FIFA 17 in this matter. So yeah, uh, let's just introduce uh, the main squad, shall we? So first up, we have the god himself, Jerry M. Bakogu. So last time I did a Carpy career mode, I accidentally sold him. Jeez, they all want him, Bakogu. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accept any of these. So in cam, we have De Guzman, and he is on loan for Carpi at the moment, as I've heard. He's actually recently scored for them, uh, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. That was, um, a game against Frozenone. They beat them 2-1. De Guzman scored an 89th minute penalty, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, he got his first goal for the club, which is good for him, so yeah. Di Gaudio, the legend, and Letizia. Letizia, he's a left back, but for some reason, he's a right mid in career mode, which is kind of really confusing. But we're definitely going to replace him with another right mid, because 66 rated is just not going to cut it whatsoever. Di Gaudio, on the other hand, is 72 rated, and he is an absolute beast in this FIFA. He has, let's see, he has uh, pretty good acceleration, and by pretty good, I mean 93 acceleration. That's insane. Agility 89. Balance 93, sprint speed 91, his stamina is not too bad either. I mean, he's pretty good for a 72 rated. So now we have the two center mids. We have Coffee or Kofi, and uh, he's also on loan, sadly, and he looks like an absolute beast. Lolo, um, I haven't actually seen many of his stats, but 77, sem or not 77, 75 ball control is not too bad, and uh, 71 long passing, not too bad. 75 short passing is pretty good too. Uh, acceleration. He's got 77 acceleration. It's not too bad for a center mid. Gagliolo, um, he's, he was a right back in uh, the uh, FIFA 15 Carpy team, but now he's a center back because that's where he actually plays. But I'm going to play him at right back because he does have the acceleration. He does have the stats to actually play at right back, so I'm going to play him at right back, of course. Now we have the player that lots and lots of Milan fans absolutely hate Zicardo he moved to Carpi and I'm pretty sure it was a permanent deal so we're keeping him Bob Nitsch, he's basically like Zicardo but just a tad bit not as good as Zicardo but he, he's still 72 rated that's not too bad I just realized this I was like looking at the squad last night I didn't realize this w what the hell okay do we even have a left we don't even have a left back can this guy play left back yeah, he can play left back. All right. Well, Deprella it is then. Deprella will be our left back. He's 67 rated, so we're definitely going to need an upgrade there. So our first training session of this series, is, it's for the strikers, of course. I mean, I always start out with the strikers. Ambakogu, Lasagna, and Mancuso, M Mancusu? Mancosu will be getting the training session. So we're going to simulate all of these unless we should actually play a match, but we're just going to simulate all of these. So, Coventry City versus Carpi, we should win against them. I mean, we're at home, Coventry are in League 1, and there you go, 2-0, Embakogu scores both of them. Well done, Embakogu. Well done. So we get our first transfer offer, and it's from Cagliari, and it is for Fabrizio Poli. 1,350,000. If that works, perfect. Perfect. But if it doesn't, that's completely fine. We now have a transfer offer for Rafael Bianco, and it's coming from Frozenone. They also just promoted as well. Okay, so 1.5 million. If Frozenone accept that, that's great. We'll have like 5 million by the time we actually get our scout reports back, so that's even better. We now have a match against Wolves. I don't think we're going to win this. I could be very wrong. I could be very right, though. We win. Okay, Di Gaudio and the Guzman both score. Well done, team. 2-1. We're winning our group at the moment, so that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. <laughs> okay, so Cagliari responded. They are willing to pay 1.1 million. I am going to go with the deal. It's a, It'll get us to 3 million, which is absolutely great, because, I mean, it's 3 million. So now, <laughs> we have a match against Brest. 
Brest. Now, that's not actually the real name. You can see it in the group stage right here. Stade Brestois, but they've shortened it to Brest. Okay, so let's just simulate this. This should be easy. I mean, if we can beat Wolf, we can beat Brest, all right? We beat him. Two goals for Mbakogu. He's probably our top scorer at the moment, or for the entire cup at the moment. Digaudio also gets a goal, and so does Deprella. Simulation against Sheffield. We should win against them. They're League One. We beat a League One team at home as well. And look at that. De Guzman scores, and it's 1-0. I don't know if we can win against them. I could be wrong, though. Oh, there we go. Mbug. King Kogu has been injured. <laughs> two weeks. I'll take it. We don't even play any games in the next two weeks, I think. So, I'll take it. Two weeks. It's fine. Oh, for God's sake. So, first person I'm going to go for, definitely, has to be this guy. Dermisi. This guy has 78 p potential, as I looked uh, maybe an hour ago or so. So, we're going to attempt to buy him. One million. If that works, I'll be pretty happy. 750 for this guy. Of course, Villarreal are going to reject this faster than the speed of light, but we can always try. I'm gonna go 2 million on my first try. Probably going to reject it, but but we can see. We can at least see. Okay, so let's simulate some more, and everything gets rejected. This was the only guy I was actually looking forward to for a left back, and they're telling me he's too valuable for them. 2 million. We'll add Bianco to the deal. How about that? Bianco. Bianco to the deal. Submit. Maybe it'll work. Maybe. Okay, so Steven Bergwin, who was suggested by two people, is loan listed. So I guess we can go for him. We'll go for a non-set future fee. Uh, we'll go for 10% per goal. And uh, yeah, hopefully that is accepted. We're now going to go for... Brian Verboom, he has some decent pace, and I always look into pace when it comes to left backs, basically full backs in general, so 1 million, it might work, you never know. Bastia, once again, have rejected our offer for Kamano, so, alright, fine, 2.5 million, let's try that. Another team saying their player is too valuable for them. For us, or for them, yeah. They are still rejecting our offer for Kamano. Three million and Bianco. Please. This has to work. This has to work. It's Bianco and three million. That's, that's four million. Finally, they accept. Quick simulation versus Brescia Calcio. Fun fact, we actually faced these guys in our first cup match in FIFA 15. And there we go. 2-1 to us. Martinho and Verdi both score the goals, so well done, guys. Come on, oh. Welcome to Carpi FC. Okay. Change of plans. We're not getting a left back, okay? We have Deprella. Martinho, he's not, he doesn't have the best slide tackle and stand tackle, but he is definitely a left back somehow. And, um, Letizia, who actually has, uh, 70 one stand tackle and 73 slide tackle so at least there's that so guys <laughs> it's our first match of the episode or at least playable match in the episode and that match is against Sampdoria here we are guys the first match our first Serie A match of the season for us and this one's against Sampdoria at Sampdoria so uh in real life we lost them Five to two. So let's hope we can get a better result in FIFA 16, shall we? Let's do this. Back to Kofi. Can we find anyone in the box? Yes, we can. We can find Mbakogu. Mbakogu can take a shot. Oh, god damn it. Hit the post. Really bad pass. Emba Kogu. Emba Kogu! Ugh. He doesn't have the best crossing, so we'll bring it down to Kamado. Can bring it to Lolo. Lolo, take a shot, and it's blocked. God damn it. Alright, it is halftime so far. It is nil-nil at the moment, so at least it's not like 5-2. At least. But I'd say we've had a pretty decent half. I mean, we've dominated that possession incredibly, and we've had four shots as well. We've been pretty unlucky with our shots, and uh, I think we can make it 1-0. Possibly. Just possibly. Kofi 
Ivy. Come on, oh. Come on, oh. Come on, oh. Oof. Good block. We have our own corner now. First corner of the season. Get anything on it here. And Bakogu. Ugh. Gagliolo. Kofi, take a long shot. Ugh. I thought that was going to go in, dude. I honestly thought that was going in. And another header won by them. This can't be good, guys. Come on now. Don't let Sampdoria win. Oh my god, good save. Just clear it, just clear it. De Guzman, turn, please. No, okay, whatever. It's Kamano down on the wing. Ah, won't be able to go anywhere else. And there is Kofi, though. Kofi. And Bakogu. But if you find Kofi! Are. Yes! Yes! 83rd minute, we finally found the goal. And it's Kofi who scores the first goal of the Serie A campaign. Okay. Oh, snap. That was close. Debrella finds De Guzman. Can find Mbakogu. Mbakogu, finish it! Okay, maybe not. Our first win of the season. On opening day two, and it's against Sampdoria. 1-0 against Sampdoria. I'm pretty happy with this performance. We had tons of shots. We deserved this win. We definitely deserved it. Man of the match goes to Kofi. Isaac Kofi. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Yep, Isaac Kofi. Well done to him. He had an 8.6. He had a goal, and I'm pretty sure he had a ton of passes. 15 out of 19. Well done, Kofi. So, <laughs> now we have a match against Inter. Welcome, everyone, to Town Park. Yeah. We're, we're playing in a kind of generic English Football League 2 kind of stadium. Which annoys me, to be completely honest with you. I mean, it just doesn't fit Carpi whatsoever. I tried switching it, but apparently when you download the uh, latest updates, you can't change the stadium. Which pisses me off. We'll just have to uh, carry on with our journey to the Champions League. In a Football League 2 stadium. That's a good ball. Di Gaudio. Oh, god damn it. Wait. And Makogu. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, what a tap. Uh oh. Oh no. No, please. Oh, god damn it. Never mind. Their passing is actually insane. Oh my god, dude. It could have been 2-0 already. Ah, uh, he's offside. No, please. Wasn't expecting him to miss that badly, though. Alright, it is halftime. It is 1-0 at the moment. Inter have dominated us. There haven't been really many chances in this game, to be completely honest with you. We've surprisingly had more chances than them for some reason. Apparently, we've had more possession than them, and I highly disagree with that. And Bakoku hasn't really been doing so well, so we'll put on lasagna. It's not the greatest idea, but, I mean, we can try. We can try him out. I mean, just try out some players. They might surprise you, they may not. Alright, so, lasagna in, and Bakoku out. It's a huge gamble. But, uh, I mean, y you never know what can happen. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Oh, well, that was definitely not a good idea. Okay. They missed again. Ah, uh, wait, Kofi, please! No! Inter are just parking the bus on Carpi right now. Well, it, it, it's 1-0 to Inter, you know. I mean, I wasn't expecting to win against them, but that performance from Carpi wasn't bad at all, really. All right, so that ends episode one. And as you can see, we are on transfer deadline day. But I'm going to end the episode, of course, here. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you guys who we should buy for our team and we have let's see 
3.2 million with 23k wage and a lot of youngsters have usually 20k wage so you guys tell me down below of course uh this is our squad at the moment you can just look at it yourselves and see who i can uh, or what i can improve in it so uh yeah also um if we do still have a little bit of money left i'll go ahead and get myself a youth academy after we buy our players and as you can see um the best one so far is the four million one but we'll never be able to offer be able to uh, afford that so uh the next best one would be the uh two ten k one which uh it's not too bad but it's not very good all right so looking at the table so far inter are on top with six points and no one else has won two games which uh that's surprising knowing this is the Serie A. Anyways, at the moment, we are in 12th with, of course, one win, one loss, um, a zero goal differential. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's really it. So, of course, uh, we'll have the deadline day, and then after that, we'll have this uh, two-week international break. And then we'll have a match against Palermo, a match against uh, Fiorentina, and then we'll end the episode with a match against Napoli. So guys, like I said before, please suggest me players down below that I can buy to improve this squad. Of course, like I said before, I have 3.2 million, so please tell me down below. Anyways, guys, if you have any suggestions to make the series better, that is highly appreciated. And, uh, of course, if you have any players you'd like me to buy, leave those down below. This is probably one of the more important times when I need players, so please leave them down below. Anyways, guys, uh, if you like the video, be sure to like it, and if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace!